on the science of experiments from the opus tertium by roger bacon 1214 to 1294 translated by andrew george little 1863 to 1945 this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org on the science of experiments this part is more valuable than all the others for this science is more helpful to all the others than any one of them is to any other it is both a science in itself and a method applicable to all sciences knowing that argument may lead to truth but does not remove doubt it neglects argument and both investigates the reasons on which conclusions are based and tests the conclusions themselves by experience this science has three leading features one it verifies all other sciences by bringing them to the test of experience the form colors etc of the rainbow are taken as an example two it explains truths which belong to other sciences but lie beyond the scope of their methods of investigation an example in medicine is the art of prolonging human life the physician gives only rules of health which no one can keep the experimenter tries the various means which he has observed are effective in the case of animals in mathematics an example is the spherical astrolabe which should move automatically with the motion of the heavens in alchemy again the experimenter having examined the various degrees of gold existing seeks a medicine which will remove all corruptions of baser metals and produce the perfect gold and this is the secret of secrets which by reducing all things to the prima materia will also remove all corruptions of the human body and prolong life this science further lays bare all magical arts separating truth from falsehood its value beyond the limits of other sciences lies in a knowledge of things future present but secret and past in this it surpasses judicial astronomy three the remaining point in which its value consists is in the observation of miracles of nature and the application of them to inventions such are the mutual attractions of various bodies such as metals or of parts of animate things when divided since i saw this nothing seems incredible to me if properly attested though i may not see the reason of it there are means of producing perpetual warmth fire and light for many things burn which are not consumed by fire aristotle in his book of secrets gives marvelous examples of the power of plants and stones to produce changes in individuals and multitudes then wonders can be done by expulsive substances there is one used for amusement in various parts of the world made of powder of saltpeter and sulphur and charcoal of hazelwood for when a roll of parchment about the size of a finger is filled with this powder it produces a startling noise and flash if a large instrument were used the noise and flash would be unbearable if the instrument were made of solid material the violence would be much greater this science commands other sciences to make its instruments it orders the geometer to make a mirror by means of which it can burn anything combustible melt every metal turn every stone to lime and destroy armies and castles at any distance it orders the astronomer to choose certain constellations and in them the experimenter produces mendicaments by which he can alter the complexion of individuals or multitudes words of such times receive the power of the heavens and have more effect when they last than things and words can be written and will last as long as things this is the origin of all philosophic images and incantations 
and so this science distinguishes between those made according to the truth of philosophy and those made according to the falsity of magical art aristotle used this science when he gave the world to alexander and antichrist will use it far more powerfully than aristotle end of on the science of experiments by roger bacon